Hi, kids! Hmm, is anyone there? Oh, hi, Granny! Wow, that looks great! What is it? Um, what's going on? That is madness! Oh, I get it! How cool! It is a jungle animalarium with many animals living in this ecosystem. And we have to build them! <laughs> it's super fun! Shall we start? Let's build the leopard! Whoops! Looks like this is broken, Granny! <laughs> it's happening again, Granny! And look at the strange outcome! It's a leofrocan! Rare mix between leopard, frog and toucan! Only seen in this animalarium! <laughs> Let's find the body and legs that correspond to that little head! Most mammals, like this leopard, have their bodies covered with hair. So let's look for a very hairy body. Let's turn the pack. There it is. As you can see, the leopard's body has spots. They help them to camouflage themselves in the undergrowth to hunt better. Now it's time to find the tail. Beautiful leopard specimen, leopard and elephant. It could work as a character in a scary movie. <laughs> Although I don't think the leopard can walk very well with those feet. Let's keep looking. Um, I think someone lost their chameleon tail. <laughs> Next, this candidate doesn't even have a tail. Or even a single hair. This isn't what we're looking for either. Although, you have to admit that it doesn't look bad at all. <laughs> this tail seems to fit better. Shall we check it out? Does it have spots? Yes! And it has hair too. So, do you think it's the leopard's tail? Yay! Yes! There we have our fierce and beautiful leopard. Have you seen how well it looks? Do you want to take a picture? <laughs> hey, what happened here, Granny? The leopard has to be rebuilt again. <laughs> this is an Alloroplion. Frog Partlia? Leorophant! Tuparlian! Elephrican! Frograkan! Leofrakpat? Tuparlia? Galliford? I don't even know what I'm saying! Oh, Granny! What if we ask the children what's happening? Do you know what happened, children? Is someone changing the panels? Spooky! I don't think Granny heard you. Let's say it louder. Spooky! Hmm. Hmm. What are you thinking about, Granny? Where are you going? Aha! She got you! Today is cleanup day! Hello nature! Goodbye garbage! Each waste to its own container! Yes, monkey! 
I also thought milk bricks went in the paper container. But no, they go in the plastic one. <laughs> Did you hear that too? <laughs> What happened, little moles? <gasps> Baby mold is trapped. How did this happen? No, 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 la la la. <laughs> Sometimes we humans are unbearable. But don't worry, Lady Mole. The Super Suit Team will solve this, no doubt. to the paper container and glass to the glass container. Easy, right? We're coming to you, little baby. Great teamwork. Just the way I like it. A glass bottle, a plastic lunchbox, a newspaper. Uh, my grandfather's clothes. You have to admit that it fits. Cardboard. Glass. Plastic. Pause. Girls and boys, do you know in which container Caddy has to throw that bottle of detergent? That's it. Into the plastic one. And what about those cardboards, girls and boys? Yeah. To the paper one! Come on, kids, let's go! Let's rescue that baby more! We're just finishing up! Where do milk bricks go? No! Remember the lesson! Milk bricks go into the plastic container! We did it! The Super Suit Team has new allies! You can also be a member of the team if you respect nature and make sure everything is garbage free! <laughs>
That's so cool! Hmm. Hmm. Why is there a minion flying over the island? Dr. Spooky! What's he up to? A Pokeball! But what? Yeah. He's throwing them on the island! They're evil Pokemon! Careful, kids! They're everywhere! Hmm, what are they doing? They're eating the plants! They're going to destroy everything! We have to do something. Any ideas? That's it. Let's try to capture them. Ah, it looks like that didn't work. Oh, man. Yes, we'll stop them this time for sure. Attack! Hmm. Darn. Ryder has another idea. Groovy, turn yourself into a Pokeball. Awesome! And now, to capture all of them. Yay! Let's go, Raccoon. It's your turn. They're wonderful. You all make a great team. Let's go, monkey. Throw it really hard. Good job, Groovy. Dr. Spooky doesn't have any more Pokemon. Yeah. Haha! You have no choice but to leave. Now we're safe. <laughs> Although not for long. <laughs> the sun is really shining. <laughs> what? The ball turned into a snowball. <laughs> Sorry, kid, but you have to admit that it's funny. What is happening? An earthquake? It's a giant robot controlled by Dr. Spooky. It's changing the weather. Everything is frozen. Let's go, kids, to the laboratory. <laughs> Let's find out what is happening. Hmm, there's the robot. Look, it has a lever on its back. And if you pull it down, the robot turns off. Good job, Kit. Hey. It's 
It's transformation time. <laughs> Monkey. <laughs> Caddy. <laughs> Super Zoo Team, the power is yours! <laughs> Monkey is ready! Aha! He's going to make a giant snowball! It's a perfect ball! Get ready, Dr. Spooky. <laughs> Let's go, monkey. in the head. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Take that, Dr. Spooky. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Let's go, Caddy. It's your turn. You have to turn off the robot. But be careful, it's dangerous. Oh no, the robot is cleaning its visor. Careful, Caddy. Darn you, Dr. Spooky! There's Caddy! She's deactivated the robot! Haha, <laughs> Dr. Spooky, we beat you again! Team, the power is yours! Ha! Now what, Dr. Spooky? We'll meet again! What is Dr. Spooky doing? Oh my gosh, what is that? I've never seen anything so greasy and disgusting. Now what? What's that remote control for? The more he turns it, the more smoke comes out of the exhaust pipes. Look at all the pollution Dr. Spooky and his gang are causing. And now they're going to cover the whole city with their horrible toxic clouds. This is terrible. The whole earth has been covered in smog. Cloud of smog prevents the sunbeams from bouncing back out to space and they're getting trapped. And that makes the temperature rise. It's so hot that eggs fry in just a second. And forget about eating ice cream. Global warming is here already. Please, Super Zoo team, help us. We have to do something. Aha! 
The trees can absorb the smog coming from the exhaust pipes and transform it into clean air. So once again, nature has the solution. Come on, kids. It's time to make a magic potion. Come on, wise granny, let's solve the problem. A little ultrasonic seed grower and a little sweet orange juice, of course. Let's take a little bit of this mixture. Good. Uh-oh, it doesn't seem to work. It's too slow. What if we add a little more? Wow, that definitely works. Hmm. Here are the super seeds. It's time to save the Earth. To the transformation capsules. How fast the trees that Caddy and Monkey are planting grow! It's incredible! Look how clean the air is getting! Nature is wonderful! No matter how much Dr. Spooky tries to pollute, with the help of the Super Zoo team, the environment always wins! When we plant trees, we clean the air and leave the planet looking fantastic. It's so beautiful. Haha, <laughs> Dr. Spooky, the Earth is free from your disgusting pollution, but you still have a lesson to learn. Stop, please, you scoundrels! You need to respect the traffic lights. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey! Take it easy! <laughs> what a good idea, Kangoo! Electric motors that don't pollute! Bye-bye, <laughs> pollution! Hello, sustainable, clean planet! <laughs> That's right, Dr. Spooky, you're not seeing things. The Earth without those horrible clouds of pollution is much better. Once again, we save planet Earth. <laughs>